우리는 예수님의 믿어요. 아멘. 아멘. 나와주세요. <웃음>
our Tuan, Tuan's parent. We ask you to pray next week's worship with all your heart. Remnants, today is the best day to worship God. Today, let's hold on to the covenant God gives us through worship. When we hold on to the covenant today, God the Triune God will work and surely give us new strength and new grace. I hope today will be that wonderful worship. Now, shall we all praise this time together? Everyone gets up. Let's get up and praise that will give us strength. Now, today, we will start kindergarten worship with those who wait upon the Lord praise. Only those who wait upon the Lord God will give them new strength. Now remnants, let's all praise with body worship together. What happens when we pray?
Amen. Hold on to our God's covenant today and pray. When you pray, God works. Of the covenant God has given us. This dream I have is different. It's not a dream that the world would dream. It's not a dream that's just for me, but a dream. We will confess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints. The forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Today, last week's top remnant, Songeon Park's mother, Deaconess Sohi Park, will pray for the worship. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we can't worship together at church right now, but thank you for leading us through online worship. God bless our kindergarten remnants for a life in which only the covenant of God is imprinted, rooted, and become a nature. God, help us to keep the word through today's worship in our minds and hearts. Please bind all the forces of darkness that hinder worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Help our remnants to become those who fear God and personally love God, those who obey God's plan by faith, and those who love the Church of God. Please allow us to enjoy the word in the accurate covenant and deep prayer to God. Help us to become spiritual summit to save the future and let us edit, plan, and design with the talents God has given us to enjoy the blessings of the throne and answers that transcend time and space. Let our precious kindergarten remnants become who shine the light and testify the gospel to 237 nations and 5,000 people groups around the world. Please give Pastor Kim Gitek, who is preaching the word today, a filling of the Holy Spirit and the five powers, and give the same grace to the devoted teachers. God grant our parents new strength every day. Please be glorified by the kindergarten worship today. We pray in the name of the living Jesus Christ. Amen. David, who conquered the world in advance. He chose David also his servant and took him from the shipfold, from following the youth's great with young and he brought him to feed Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance. So he fed them according to integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalm Chapter 78, verse 70 to 72. A very tall old man, a very strong general, besides a general who came with a spear larger than a human and a large sword. This general is <coughs> Goliath. Remnants The world looks so big and amazing. And the world looks scary. 
are remnants, must open your eyes through today's word. Don't be deceived. Don't be afraid of the world you are going forward. The world looks tremendous. Don't envy such a world. But you shouldn't look down the world. You should not see it easily. Remnants who have God's covenant must not be deceived by what you see. Said Goliath. Ha ha ha! I am the Philistine general Goliath. Come out one of you who believes in Jehovah God. If you fight with me and your Israel wins, our Philistines will become your servants. If you fight with me, and I win, your Israel will become our Philistine's servant. Come on, someone come out. Ha ha ha. None of the Israelites went out. They were trembling. King Saul of Israel also trembled. That Goliath insulted the army of Jehovah God, but no one went out. Why is no one coming? Aren't you the army of Israel who believed in the Lord God? Is there no one to fight with me? Ha <laughs> ha! Goliath, the Philistine general, came out every morning and evening for 40 days and made fun of the Israel soldiers. At this time, there was a child at home keeping a sh of sheep. He was a child who always worshipped God and enjoyed remnant time. He was a remnant enjoying a spiritual summit just like you. This child's name is David, David. David's father, Jesse, sent David on errand. Hey, your brothers are now at war on the battlefield. Come on. Go to your brothers and bring them food. And there is a high man on the battlefield, the captains of their thousand. So bring him food and take their pledge. David came to the battlefield where his brothers were. But the sound was heard from afar. Ha ha ha! Are you the army of Israel who believe in Jehovah God? 
Come on out and fight with me. Am I scared? Ha ha ha. David heard this. Who is that man to insult the army of the living Jehovah God? Why are we trembling with no one going out? I will go out and fight the Philistine. So, king of Israel said to David, Hey, you are a child, and that Goliath is a very scary soldier. You can't come out and fight and win. David answered, King, it was when I was a shepherd with the sheep. <gasps> That's a surprise! It's, it's a lion! A lion? has appeared to eat the ship I am girding. The Lord God was with God with David and he defeated the lion and rescued the ship from the lion's mouth. Oh my god, it's a bear, bear, a bear has appeared to eat the ship I am girding. King, when I was girding the ship as a shepherd, when a lion or a bear came and take a lamb, I followed to the end and rescued the ship from the lions and bears. Then I caught a lion and bear and struck them to the death. I, a servant of God, also struck down lions and bears so that Philistine who insulted the armies of the living God, will die like a lion or a bear. The king put his armor, sword, and helmet on David. Why? The king thought he needed armor and a sword to fight Goliath. What would David do? He took off all the armor. King, I cannot Fight in this. David said he would not fight the worldly way as he has always done. David went out as a witness that Jehovah God was with him. Our remnants remember 
People say that if you study well, you can win in this world. But that was wrong. People say that if you work hard, you can win the world. That's not true. People say that if you make a lot of money, you can win the world. That's not true. You're not in status to win that way. We have the status of holding on to God's covenant and have victory. If we hold on to God's covenant, the triune God will work. If you hold on to God's covenant and pray, angel of the Lord will be sent to answer your prayer. If we hold on to God's covenant and pray, the kingdom of God will come. This worship we offer today is the time to hold on to God's covenant. David took a stick and a stone and went before Goliath. Huh? What is that? What kid appeared? Hmm? And what's that thing in, in his hand? Hey, am I a dog? Why did you bring the stick? David said, Thou come, comes to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou, thou hast defied. And all this assembly, assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with the sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's. And he will give you into our hands. David started running towards Goliath. The stone that David threw hit Goliath's forehead, and Goliath fell. <laughs> Remnants, do you remember our worship last week? Samuel, who was beside the Ark of the Covenant. This Samuel started the Mitzvah movement. All the Israelites returned to Jehovah God through the prayer of Samuel, right? And they came to find the stolen Ark of the Covenant. And Samuel restored the gospel. Did Samuel anointed David upon his head, who was tending the sheep? Samuel relayed the covenant of God to David. He relayed the covenant that David will be the future king of Israel 
and to build a temple for the Ark of the Covenant. When David was anointed, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. The covenant of God that Samuel relayed to David was fulfilled. David became king of Israel, and he built the temple which is God's desire. Why did God call us? People living in darkness and disaster. People who do not know the Christ become slaves of Satan and live as children of Satan. Children living in darkness because they cannot hear the accurate gospel. God has called us to testify the Christ to them. Jesus who opened the way to meet God. Jesus who solved the disasters and curses on the cross. Jesus destroyed the works of the devil. You are the ones who testify that this Jesus is the Christ. I hope that you will become a remnant who hold on to God's covenant through today's worship just like David who held God's covenant through Samuel today. Those who hold on to the covenant of God in this way will be raised by God as a summit that testify this gospel in 237 nations and 5,000 people groups. After today's worship, We'll have a fun summit time to create a wonderful masterpiece. I hope it will be a time to hold on to God's covenant while making this work with your parents. Remnant time is prepared every day to rise to the spiritual summit. Through this time, I hope you can hold on to God's covenant this week. And I bless you in the name of Jesus. Become who the Spirit of the Lord came upon our remnants and all families by the God of Jehovah while living wonderful masterpiece with their parents. We will give offering with the priest when we pray.
summit, time, joy overflows. When David was appointed, anointed by Samuel, he received an important covenant from God. Then shall we also make the horn of the covenant and receive God's covenant? You will need colored paper, a sketchbook, scissors, colored pencils and marker. Colored paper and decoration materials. Fold the colored paper or sketchbook into a triangle shape. Cut along the line with scissors. the triangle to make three equal parts. Fold the pointed part up. Open the paper and make a hole. Decorate the horn with various materials. Tear the colored paper into small pieces. Put the torn colored paper into the horn. Today's masterpiece, the Horn of the Covenant, is complete. Shall we relay the covenant as our parents become Samuel and the remnants become David? Parents, Pour out the Horn of the Covenant and pray for blessings so that our remnants may become spiritual summits like David. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon our remnants. God has called us to be Children of God Let's read together the memorized verse for the week. But as many as received him, to them gave he power. to become the sons of God. Even to them. That believe on his name. John Chapter 1 verse 
Amen. As we recite this verse for a week, let's remember our identity and authority. Then we will all pray together. 하나님 아버지, Heavenly Father, help us to build a temple where people from 237 nations come to receive training, a temple where the sick are healed with the gospel, and a temple where our remnants grow as a spiritual summit with this offering we have given. May the grace of Jesus Christ the great love of God the Father and the working of the Holy Spirit always be with us from now on and forever on all our remnants, parents and teachers who hold on to God's covenant and the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. Amen. Amen. 